Hi, my name is Brian English, Wappler Forum named Hyperbytes, and in this module, I'm going to be explaining to you how this dynamic SEO model will work. I think it's important that you understand what I'm trying to achieve here um, at an early stage, otherwise you could probably get very confused as to what I'm doing. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a API action. I'm just going to call that demo because this is only temporary to show you exactly what I'm doing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the dollar service section of the inputs there to be able to show you um, or to be able to access some of the server variables. If you don't know what I'm talking about with server variables, I know this is a PHP page, but it's just got a nice list. You see all of these dollar server variables will return different things about the server and the interactions with the server. And the one we are going to be looking at is, as I said, URL, which returns the URL of the um, page which is currently being viewed. So if I go into a server, this obviously must match exactly what the, um, the name of the variable is within this. So let's make sure that you 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 would and you notice they're always in capitals as well. Then I'm going to go down here. I'm just going to create a very simple server action, core actions, set value. I'm going to call this URL, and I'm going to just set use a set value to show you what that output will be. So I've output that. I'm just going to hit the open and browser button and you'll see here the we've got API demo which matches exactly what follows the domain name up here and in this case the port level because we're running locally and this could be a, a multiple slashes because if we had say a, a blog post we're calling up we would may well have something like blog stroke seven stroke this is a blog about something that's happening in your vicinity etc and we need that full string because what we want to do is allocate the SEO tags at that level so each individual page will have its own tags and even the the content driven parts of that page can all have separate um, SEO tags as well. I'm going to add another action in here, um, another set value, um, URL split. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to split that URL and I'm going to split it by the slashes in it. In other words, I'm going to break that up. Um, we're going to split by the slash. If we output that now, if I click that in, you'll see that it will actually split the URL into its component parts. So our full URL is API demo. We know that part zero is null because there's nothing before that slash. Part one is the first part of that string. Demo in this case is a second and we could well have a third and we could well have a fourth. I show you because we will be using this um, part one quite a lot to be able to put conditional things within actions. So there we are, we've got the, the explanation how it's going to work. I'm going to just delete this now. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at um, globals. So up top here where we've got uh, the global section, we can actually set a API action or this a special API action that was actually triggered every time a ser server action is called. So basically it's it's running constantly in the background. It, it is in fact um, cached by you know both, both probably a database server and a Wappler itself but what we're going to do is we're going to use that to check what the page name is look up in a database to see if we have any SEO tags associated with that 
And if we do, we're going to recall those tags. If we don't, we're going to insert a blank record into the table and then we're going to return the, the blank tags or as we'll see some defaults back to our um, page and it's that is how we're going to pick up our SEO tags for the page we're going to do that via the layout the layout will pick them up and then the page will pull them from the layout sounds complicated but it's really not it's, it's quite simple so the first thing we're going to have to do as we did before is sorry we're going to have to create that server URL option here we're going to take that URL and we're going to try and find a record in the SEO database which matches that particular S uh, URL so we're going to click on database actions so we're going to look at our SEO table and we're going to look to see where the page name, as I've called it. So we're going to call, my apologies, we're not going to take that. We're going to bring in all of our fields where the page name matches that server URL. So that's going to look for the um, appropriate record and it will pull all of the tags back if they are there. However, if it's not there, we can say conditionally condition so this is a single record query so all we need to do is say basically if query because it will otherwise it will be null if that query is there then we're okay so I'll just put a comment in there um, call actions comment have tags But if we don't have a query, we're going to add an else. What I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a entry into that SEO database. So we need a database insert, insert options. We're going to be searching into the SEO table. And now we can start adding some defaults in here. So the first thing that page name is going to be that server URL. So we've got that. That's no problem at all. Now at this stage, we're fairly limited on what we can add in because we don't know anything about it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some very, very simple stuff in. We're going to add a description is visit North Tyne. I'm going to copy that because we're going to be just shoving that in lots of places this is just I work on even the simplest tag is better than no tag at all tab type org type is website Don't leave that that way our description visit North Tyne I'll leave the images I'll come back to that name site name Visit northtine.co.uk. Twitter title. Visit North Tyne. Pretty boring. Sorry, guys, but this is necessary. A couple of things we haven't done. Um, going to leave the robots for the minute. Uh, to be honest, I don't really use robots very much. Um, I prefer the robots text files to do the appropriate. Canonical is an interesting one because that is the basically the full qualified domain name for that page. So what we're actually going to have is https colon four slash four slash visit north uk four slash and then I'm going to tag on the end of that that URL. And it really annoys me when that happens. Excuse me. Plus, we don't want that last four, uh, trailing force. So there we are. That's our fully qualified um, name there. We've got also need to set some defaults for our images. 
So let's save that query for the moment. And what I want to do is add a image into our assets folder, which we can use as a default image for uh, social media uh, bot stroke scrapers. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into our um, assets folder here. I'll just reduce the size of the screen down. I've got an image there that I want to use. And I'll drop that into there. Now, don't be alarmed. It doesn't appear immediately. Um, it seems to be maybe some processing goes on in the background. Not, not entirely sure. But you will see that that will eventually appear within your window. Um, what we can do now is we can use that as our default image for our social media. It's important to know that file name, hairshow-lin.png. So if we now go back into our insert options, what we can actually do is add the link to that particular image in as a default. So what we're going to say is https colon four slash four slash visit northtine.co.uk. We have of course got making the assumption that you know that is the domain to which this will ultimately be uploaded. Then we're going to say assets images slash hair show lin dot j sorry p n g wasn't it anybody wondering what on earth that is that's a waterfall in my village quite a famous waterfall if you uh, like to see it just google hash or lin and you'll uh, see that we also twitter image we want to add that same link okay and then uh, Twitter creator, uh, I'm not even going to bother with it in a minute. Twitter URL would actually be the same as our canonical. So let's just copy that. Not always as easy to do as you would think. Let's open that up in there. Code be the better way to do it. Twitter URL. Let's open our code screen and let's just paste that in there. And I think that's everything we need to do at this stage. So I'm just going to save that. So what have we actually done here? What we've done is we have um, created an action which will run every time a server action is accessed. It will So it will run in the background. It will query our SEO database and see if there are any SEO tag set. If so, it will retrieve them. If not, it will insert a predefined default set of tags into that. And then lastly, obviously, we need to be able to retrieve that. So we'll do a little tidy up first. I'm going to just rename that. Um, Global SEO Query. And then I'm going to duplicate that drag it after that I'm going to then take the copy out so basically it will return either the the tags that we have uh, tweaked shall we say or it will create a set of blanks and then it will return those not blanks the defaults and return those blanks to us just going to do a quick fix I've realized that we uh, have actually forgotten one of the um, open graph parameters that we need um, because we actually need org URL as well um, which is the equivalent of your Twitter URL here and I say I've just realized that was omitted so we'll call that amend SEO table then I'm going to go back into our, our action wrong one this one and with a bit of luck we'll now see that okay we 
just going to save that let's save everything i'm going to now do a if you find that a field that you've added doesn't appear all you need to do is go up to the appropriate table and just hit refresh schema now if, once you refresh that schema you should then find that that is there you see with our og url is there and og url will be the same as a twitter url so let's just copy that code across rather than we type it all especially if you're a typist like me so there we are i think that's all of our um, tags catered for now so let's uh, just top and tail this and we'll be able to progress it And that's the first stage of setting up our SEO. Our next stage is to look at how we get those tags into each individual page of our website. So that will be our next module. I look forward to you joining me.